<clears throat> teacher teacher i i can hear you hello can you hear me hello yes yes, yes. Right now. yes you're right. okay we were checking about the platform before about the exercise 214 i guess everybody has that correct right so and now we are going to check into the we're going to check into the platform well no into the attendance okay ada patricia linares galdames present teacher good adriana stephanie martinez flores ana selmi chavez carmen jasmine lopez martinez present good Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Good. Guadalupe del Carmen López Flores. Present, Chef. Good. Jose Ernesto Osorio Morán. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present, Chef. Good. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. I'm here. Good. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here, teacher. Good. Osmin Baire Solorzano. Present teacher. Good. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Good evening, present. Good evening. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Sandra Carolina Romero Ramírez. Present teacher. Good. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Good. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present. Good. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Good. Zulma Rosaura López García. Present. Good. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Present Good. Flor de María Carballo Ugarte. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present Good. Ana Michelle Guevara Sánchez. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. Okay, my friends. So we are going to continue with the class and we are going to continue with the book actually today. So here we go. You need to eat shopping issues. Uh, and it says, I will be able to describe risks and tips related to identify no, identity theft when shopping online. So it says, number one, let's start. Do you know how to keep your personal information safe when you shop online? Aha, everybody, question. Do you know how to do that? How to keep your personal information safe when you shop online? How do you do that? Hmm. 
in database in the in, in database of and okay so we need to be careful about the data we enter and the website that you use okay very good yeah we need to be sure that that is the core of website right sometimes there are some hackers some phishing that we need to avoid and uh, what will happen if your credit card information is compromised while purchasing online what do you think might happen What do you mean, teacher? Hello, good evening. I, I guess that if, if, your, if your credit card information is compromised, um, the best way that you could do or you, you could be, uh, it, is, it is report to, for example, to the bank because the, the problem it is could be another person will use your information to get money, your, your money. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that is something that we really need to do, right? When we uh, think that our information has been compromised, our credit card information, we need to report to the bank so they can, for first of all, stop the uses of the card and then issue you a new card. And of course, research, investigate about what might be happening. Okay. So this is a conversation it says Chris and Ricardo are talking about important considerations to prevent identity theft when shopping online. Read the conversation. So we're going to check the conversation. Of course, I'm going to say first, and then you are going to repeat. So here we go. I have been reading a lot about identity theft online for the past few days. A financial specialist asked banks how they plan to solve the issue with identity theft. What's that anyway? Identity theft? Oh, I see. You like to buy a lot of electronics from the internet. To complete a purchase, you need to have a profile in the online store. This is your personal information and your credit card number. And there are thieves out there trying to steal that information to get to your money. I didn't know they could do that. Someone recently asked me what my password was. I thought it was strange, but I didn't give them my password. Don't ever give them your password or any other information. Once a person sent me an email asking what size I used to store my credit card information, I bet they wanted to steal my personal information. Okay, so do you have any questions about this? Any pronunciation questions? In the second paragraph, teacher, identity theft? Theft. Theft. Oh, okay. Theft. Uh -huh. Thank you. Okay, any other question? So, how in the part of Greece in the first, how they plan to solve. Okay, let me see. I have been reading a lot of the financial expenses. How they plan, yeah, how they plan to solve. Okay. Good. Any other question? about pronunciation. In the final part, uh, I bet they want to. They want it, huh? Okay. Thank Good. You. Okay, so there are no more questions, so we're going to practice, of course. Let's see, Osmi and Wilfredo. Okay. Okay. Will you start me? Okay. Thank you. 
I have been reading a lot, a lot about identifying the identity of the past few days. A financial special attack for bank how they planned to stop the issue with the identity. Uh, What's that anyway? Identity theft. Oh, I see you like to buy a lot of, of electronics from the internet. To complete a purchase, you need to have a profile in the online store. This is your personal information and your credit card number. And there, and there are thieves out there trying to steal that information to get your money. I didn't know they could uh, do that. Someone simply asked, asked me what my password was. I took it was strange, but I didn't give them my password. Don't ever, don't ever give them your password and any other information. Once a person sent, sent me an email asking what size I use to store my credit card information, I bet they want to steal my, informa my personal information. Very good, perfect. Now, Ana Selmi and Zulma. Okay. Zulma. Okay. I have been reading a lot of about identity theft. identity theft online for the past few days. A financial mm -hmm. specialist asked bank how they plan to solve the issue, the issue with identity identity theft. What that anyway? Identity theft? Oh, I see you like to buy a lot of electronic from the internet. To complete a purchase, you need to have a profile in the online store. This is your personal information and your credit card number. And there are thieves out there trying to steal that information to get to your money. I didn't know they could, that. They could do that. Someone recently asked me what my password was. I thought it was strange, but I didn't give them my password. You never give them your, post your password or any other information. Once a person sent me an email asking what size I used to store my credit card information, I bet they wanted to steal my personal information. Very good, perfect. Now, Lourdes and Ada Patricia. Okay. Okay. Yes. I have been reading a lot of a lot about identity theft online for the past few days. A financial specialist asked banks how the they planned to solve the issue with identity theft. What, what's that anyway? Identity theft? Oh, I see you like to buy a lot of, of electronics from the internet. The complete app for search, you need to have a profile in the online store. This is your personal information and your credit card name, number. And there are teams of their trying to steal that information to get to your money. I didn't know they could do that. Someone recently asked me what my password was. I told it was strange, but I didn't give them my password. Don't ever give them your password or any other information. Once a person sent me an email asking what site I used to store my credit card information. 
I bet they wanted to steal my personal information. Very good, perfect. Now, Carla and Rose. Okay, me, Ro me Chris. Okay. I have been reading a lot of above identified theft online. I, 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 I then identify mm -hmm. theft online for the past few days. A financial specialist asked the bank how they planned to, to solve the issues with identity. I didn't live. What's that anyway? Identity theft? Oh, I see. You like to buy a lot of electronics from the internet. To complete a purchase, you need to have a profile in the online store. This is your personal information and your credit card number. And there are thieves all out there trying to steal that information to get your money. To get to your mom. I didn't know they called it that. Someone recently asked me what my password was. I thought it was strange, but I didn't give them my password. Don't ever give them your password or any other information. Once a person sent me an email asking what size wow. I used to store my credit card information. I bet they want to steal my personal information. Good, perfect. Now, uh, Flor and Guadalupe. Okay, I, I, Chris. Okay, uh, Flor, is possible for you? Yes. Good, let's listen then. Okay, I have been reading a lot, a lot about identity. Identity. There identity only online for the past uh, few days. Uh, financial especially ask banks how they planned to solve the use issue with identity theft what the anyway. Identity death oh I see you like to buy a lot of electronic from the internet to complete a purchase you need to have a profit in the online store this is your personal information and your credit card number and there are thieves out there trying to sell that information to get to your money i didn't know they called Called do, called, called do that. Someone recently asked me what my password was. I throw it was a stranger, but I didn't give them my password. Don't ever give them your password or any other information. Once a person send, send me an email asking what sites I use it to store my credit card information. I bet they wanted to steal my personal information. Good, perfect. Now, Sandra Gladys and Walter Mauricio. Start me. Okay. I have been reading a lot about the identity, the online for the past few days. A financial especially asked you banks how they planned to solve the issue in issue. with identity debt issue with identity <coughs> debt but stuff anyway. Identity debt identity <clears throat> identity 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 death of C July to buy a lot of electronic for the internet. To complete purchases, you need to have a profile in the online store. And did your personal information and your credit card number. 
and there are uh, figures or sí. figures. Oh, there are a training to steal that information and to get to your money. I didn't know they could do that. Someone recently asked you, asked me what my first word was. I told it was strange, but I didn't give them my password. Don't ever give them your password or any other information. Once a person and sent me an email asking what and silver did you say? Excuse me. Sites. Silence. I use them to store my credit card information. I bet they are wanted. I wanted to to steal my personal information. Okay, very good. Now uh, it's going to be Ricardo and Pamela. Okay. Okay. I'm first. Okay. I have been reading a lot about identify thief online. Identify thief online for the past few days. A financial specialist asked a bank how they planned to solve the issue with identity. 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 What's that? What's that anyway? But a loss of electronics for the internet to have to have a profit in the online store. This is your person, personal information and your credit card number. And there are three of their three trying, uh, trying to slip that as information to get uh, to you money. I didn't know they could do that. Someone recently asked me what my password was. I told it. I thought it was strange, but I didn't give them my password. Don't ever do to ever no. Don't ever write them your password or any other information. When a person send me an email, ask you what I I use to store my credit card information. I bet they want to sleep sleep. Uh, my pers my person information. Okay, very good. Now Ophelia and Jasmine. Okay. I has bit a baby. I love I hey, first. Yeah, Oph Ophelia can be first. That's good, and then Jasmine. Okay. I has bit a baby. I lost I bus identity. I death or lie, I force, I the past, I I think I die, I fi, fina, financial, especially asking I pass, I know I death a plan to solve I this si, si, I wish identity, I death, I was what any any what. Identity theft? Oh, I see you like to buy a lot of electronics from the internet. To complete a purchase, you need to have a profile in the online store. This is your personal information and your credit card number. And there are five out Thief. there trying to steal uh, tips. Out there are trying to steal that credit card number. And there are um and there are five apps that are trying to steal that information to get to your money. I didn't know I, I know I they could I do do I that as a meme. I resist as case I me I was I me pause I was 
I don't is was a star. I was in, I didn't, I didn't know I his that me. Pause. Don't ever give them your password or any other information. Once a person sends me an email asking what sites I used to store my credit card information, I bet they wanted to steal my personal information. Very good, perfect. Now, Sandra Romero and Gloria Elizabeth. Okay, I'm sorry, Sandra. Okay. Okay. I have been wearing a lot about identity theft online for the past few days. I uh, final financial specialist after bank how they planned to so the use with identity identity theft was that anyway. Hello, Sandra Romero. Hello, teacher. I'm sorry. Okay. So you are Ricardo. Okay, perfect. Okay. okay. Uh, no, uh, Sandra is going to read about Ricardo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Go ahead, <laughs> sure. No, but uh, she, she's reading with uh, Gloria. So, Sandra, go ahead, please. Okay, identity theft. Oh, I see you. I see you like to buy a lot of electronics from the internet. To complete the purchase, you need to have a profile in the online store. This is your personal information and your credit card number. And there are thieves out there trying to steal that information to get to your money. I didn't know that someone recently after me what my password was, I saw it was a stranger, but I didn't give them me password. Don't ever give them your password or any other information. Once a person sent me an email asking what, it, what site I used to store my credit card information, I bet they wanted to steal my personal information. Good, perfect. Now, Sulma and Lourdes. Okay, uh, Lourdes, you want to start? Hello, Lourdes. Mm, I guess she's not here. Okay, uh, Nelson, is possible for you, Nelson? I don't know if it's possible. Yeah. yeah? Okay. Let's go. Uh, okay. Yeah, Ricardo is going to help you then. Yes. Go ahead. Uh, ah. okay. Con Sulma. Okay. 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 You start? Yes. Okay. I have, I having. Uh, ready a uh, loss about identify identity on, sorry identity identity online for on, online for the past three day uh, financing especially asking bank to hold the planet to solve and they usually wish identify uh, what uh, does anyway Identity theft? Oh, I see you like to buy a lot of electronics from the internet. To complete a purchase, you need to have a profile in the online store. This is your personal information and your credit, credit card number. And there are thieves out there trying to steal that information to get to your money. I didn't. How oh, they could do that? Uh, someone recipe asked me, ask you, 
Ask me what's my password, what I saw is was strike, stretched, but I didn't uh, greet the, my password. Don't ever give them your password or any other information. Once a person sent me an email asking what site I use to store my credit card information, I bet they want to steal my personal information. Okay, very good. So nice. We are going to check some words. I don't think there are many words. Remember that the word this one is identity, identity theft, and uh, financial, a financial specialist, a uh, plant. Uh, what else? Let's see. Purchase. What else? Thieves. Steal. Uh, recently how asked. You, uh -huh. How do you pronounce internet? Internet. 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 Uh -huh. internet. Without songs without the end. Uh, the T's internet. are really soft. Internet. Internet. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Internet. <laughs> okay, let me see what else. Strange. What else? Uh, sites and that is it let's check some vocabulary let's see if we can find some words um do you remember what is identity theft right do you remember what is that identity theft when you lost your identity about fraud yeah when somebody takes your information and they Pretend they are you, right? So that is it. Uh, what else? Let me see. Profile. What is a profile? Like a perfil. In English, just plain English. Um, in your own page, personal page. Okay, when you have your information, right? When it's you, it's about you, all the information that you're seeing in the page. Good. In this, in this case, it's in the store. What else? Thieves. What are thieves? The plural, the thief. the plural of thieves. Very good. The plural of thieves, that is the person that wants to steal anything, right? So this is the other word, steal. When you want, they want to get something that does not belong to them. Let's see what else. I bet. What is I bet? When you are when you are sure for something, you bet. For example, if it is a match, it's a it's a soccer match, and you say this. My equipment is going to win, and you bet to your partner because you are sure. Very good. When you bet is when you are sure something, or when you bet that somebody is going to do something, and you are bet betting money, right? Burn or, or or anything that you want to do. Very good. Okay, so let's check about the exercise. Read the conversation again and rewrite the questions below. So we're going to use, of course, a reporter speech. I know that this topic has been kind of, oh my goodness, crazy, but it's, it's very easy. Remember the rules and that is it. <laughs> <laughs> so the first one, it says, how do you plan to solve this issue with identity theft? I financial specialist ask banks. So how is going to be that in reporter speech? Uh -huh. Maybe the bank asks me how have, have I planned to solve the issue with identity theft. Very good. That is very, very nice. 
uh, might be something just at the beginning. The, a financial specialist asked banks how they planned, as you say with past, planned to solve the issue with identity theft. That is it. The rest is the same. No changes. So that is it. Very easy, right? That is piece of cake. Now the number two says, what's your password? Someone asked. So who is going to be? Someone recently uh, asked me what um, my password. Very good, Osmin. That's good. Someone asked me what my password was. That's the only thing, was. Very good. Okay, and the number three says, what size do you use to store your credit card information? A person asked, how is going to be that? Asking. Mm -hmm. Asking what I, uh, I use, no, no, I use to store my credit and information. Very good. So, yeah, something like that. A person asked me what size I used in the past, right? used to store your uh, my credit card information. That is it. You see, it's very easy. Piece of cake. Remember that when you are in New York. Let's move on. It says e-shopping issues. Um, look at the examples in the box. The complete exercise below. Well, here is then, not there. And uh, we're going to check. It says, remember when reporting things that other people say or ask, the verb tense often shifts back. Report information questions using ask, inquire, want to know, plus an WH word, plus the clause, sentence word order. So that is it. And let's see, um, Anna Selmy, could you please read the next part? This teacher. The, the exercise number one, uh, yes. the theoric. Uh, we'll say simple present, present, okay. everything there. Huh? Okay, simple present, uh, menus. How do you? Uh, that is think? like an arrow. It's like, it's like. Ah, it's arrow. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's, it's a strange deform. deform. <laughs> yeah, simple I know. present, simple past. The transformation to simple, simple past. Good. Customer. What is the process to return a product? The report, a customer asked what the process to return a product was. Customer, when do you expect the package to arrive? Report, a customer asked when we expect the package to arrive. Arrive. Arrive, arrive. Yeah, thank you, teacher. Arrive. Okay, thank you. Now, uh, let's see. Jasmine, could you please read the next one? Hello, Jasmine. I'm sorry, can you repeat, please? Yeah, the second part where it says simple pass to pass perfect. Um, customer, when did you ship my order? Reported, reported. A customer asked when we have sent his order. Sales agent, which items did you pick from the catalog? Reported, the sales agent asked which item I had picked from the catalog. Very good, perfect. Wendy, the next one, the last one. Hello, Wendy. Sorry, teacher. Uh, will and go. Okay. Yes, please, go ahead. 
Sorry, teacher. A customer, when will my package, package arrive? Arrive. Arrive. Before uh, the client ask, ask when the package will arrive. Arrive. And customer, what will be the subtotal for my purchase? Um, before a customer ask what the subtotal will be be for his purchase very good so that is it so it's exactly the same that we were checking right you know that you know already how it's going to be this part so it's going to be very easy for us to do the exercise so rewrite each question and report a speech using the examples in the box above as a model number one it says why is there a two thousand charge in my account a customer asked so how is going to be the report speech here? Uh -huh. Anybody? Maybe teacher, I, I'm going to try, but of course, <laughs> a customer asked why was there? Why there was? Ah, why there was mm -hmm. a 2000 share in my account. Very good, that is it. So, a customer no. asked mm -hmm. why there was a 2000 uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, because it's a question, yeah. And this is a report speech, so we yeah. change the order, right? Yeah. That's the only thing. Sure. Yeah. Could you wait one moment? I, I, I need to, to write this this these answers because okay. I have some trouble to 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 re, to answer the exercise in the platform. Okay. The, the answer could be a customer ask why is there was no why why there was why. There was there 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 was there was uh, and the rest is the same, right? A customer ask mm -hmm. teacher change why, change why verb to be the yes. Remember that we always change the verb and switch it back. If it's present, it's past. If it's past, yeah. it's past perfect, yeah, and so on, right? And the order, the order because in reported speech is not going to be in a way of a question. So it's going to be a little bit different. Oh, okay, okay. okay. See? Good. So number two, what do I have to do to protect myself from identity theft? My friend asks. How is going to be? You. Anybody in number two? Uh, friend asked mm -hmm. what I have to do to protect protect himself ah, or himself, identity thief. Okay. So it's going to be a friend asked what maybe he is he has or he had, right? Uh, yes. A friend asked he, okay. had, he, had. he yeah. had to do to protect himself from identity theft. Yes, teacher, he had. Yeah. He had, very good. Maybe it's she, you can change that for, for she, but if you use she, it's going to be herself in the other part. So in both ways, it's correct because it doesn't say if it's a male or a female. What she have? What she had, had in past, had, not have, but had. What she had to do to protect herself from identity theft. How to do to? How, yeah, had okay. the rest of the verb only. Yeah, the verb we're gonna switch it back. 
Had. Okay. Had. That is good. Number three says, when will I receive a fraud alerts? A customer asks, how is going to be that? A customer asked. He asked me. No, asked me. A customer asked. Ask, ask me. Ask only. He can be asked or ask. That is not a problem. Okay. A customer asked when will. Uh, when will. Uh, when will. Uh, uh, I receive, receive from alerts. Okay, so this is going to be like this. A customer asks when he, first is the person, when, uh, he, when he would, would, uh -huh, would receive from that. Receive, okay. So the rest is the same, no change. So it's going to be okay. a customer asks when he would when he receive from others. Good. Number four. How is it going to be number four? It says, when did you last change your password? The bank representative asked. Maybe uh, the bank representative asked when oh my God. when I when I have change no when i have no when yeah when i have when i have when i have changed my last password my password oh my password okay. yeah so very good the bank representative asked when i change yeah i had when, when I last, well, that is kind of difficult. The last word is going to be the one that is, is misplaced. When I had changed my password, something like that. Without the last, it would be better because we get, don't get confused. Okay. So now uh, you see that the, the, the most important thing is two things. First is the verb that we're going to switch it back and then the person and the order. The person that we are using there in the sentence and the order that is going to switch, only that. Can you repeat, just say something important. Is it present, is past. And this is past, is past perfect. Past per okay, past yeah. perfect, okay, past perfect. thanks. Yeah. Number five, what information did they change in your bank account? The customer support agent asked. Chair, in the number four, is possible that the bank representative mm. asked when um, when I have done last had, change your, my password? Um, had, uh, no, because the verb is change. Since the verb, the main verb is change. In this case, last change, the verb is change. The verb is change, changed. It's going to be had changed. Mm. So it's going to be when you last had changed. When I actually, uh, for me, when I name. last had changed. So, but the uh, verb okay. is changed. So that's the one that is going to be, since this is past, a simple past, we're going to move it to the past perfect. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so we are in number five. Who's going to be number five? The customer super super chain asking mm -hmm. uh, what information uh, they they have they had they changed in my bank account. Okay, so yeah, something like that. 
So the customer support agent asked what information. You can say they, you can continue using they had changed in their bank account. It could okay. be something like that. That makes sense. They, the, the position? No, they, they, they the, is going to be the yeah. same. And the other one is, yeah, on this one, and this one is the same, they, and then this one is going to be uh, there. Uh -huh. And yes, this one, they. yes. And this one, yes, is a possessive in this one. They change in... They change in there. This is possessive. Ah, uh, yes, I here. Yeah. Okay. Good. Number six. When will the bank get in touch with me? A customer asked. Uh -huh. How is it going to be number six? The customer asks, when will the bank get in touch with him? Could it be? Or with it could me? be. No, with him is better. Yeah. Okay. A so customer uh, asks, uh -huh. when will the bank get in touch with him? Only one little thing. So it's going to be a customer asks when the bank will. Will. Okay. When the when bank, the bank will, will get, in touch. get in touch with him. Okay. So that is it. A customer the, or, asks, the, or, the order had to change in a moment. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> to, so make, the, to make more sense. Yeah. So in the report speech, it's like a normal, a normal sentence, not like a question. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be the bank will go. The, he will go, for example. It's, okay. it's going to be like that. Okay. So in the question is, uh, will he go, right? But in the question is going to be, he will go. So we change that like in a normal sentence. Okay. okay. Good. Any questions yeah. about this? My uh, six, six seria will, will the bank. No, the bank would. Ah, okay. When the bank will when the bank will get in touch with him. In touch with me. Okay. No, with me, no, with him. Ah, with him. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. That is it. Good, good. Yeah, I know this is kind of uh, strange, right? And maybe has been difficult. My best advice for you is to, to practice. That is the, the best advice that I can tell you. So uh, do you have any questions before we move on? Before we get into this part, uh, we're going to check the uh, we're going to check the attendance because it's almost nine again. Very fast, right? Okay, so Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Yes, teacher. Good. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Ana Selmi Chavez. Present, teacher. Good. Carmen Jasmine Lopez Martinez. Present. Good. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Good. Guadalupe del Carmen Lopez Flores. Present teacher. Good. Jose Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. Good. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. Present. Good. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here, teacher. Good. Osmin Baire Solorzano. Present, teacher. Good. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Good evening, present. Good. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present, teacher. Good. Sandra Carolina Romero Ramírez. Present, teacher. Good. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present teacher. Good. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Present. 
I'm sorry, I have a problem with my microphone. No worries, Susana, that's fine. Thank you, Walter. Okay. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Zulma Rosaura López García. Present. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Present teacher. Good. Flor de María Carballo Ugarte. Present. Good. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present. Good. Ana Michelle Guevara Sánchez. Present. Good. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. Okay, we're going to do a little pause and we're going to watch a video. And this is kind of nice that we can discuss. So it's about shopping online, but in a different way. So let's see how it goes. As usual, we're going to watch the video and then comment. And then we're going to continue with the book so we can move on. Here we go. Get ready to check out some awesome new products, such as a tactical pen that could save your life and even a mini fridge that you can take in your car. This is Future Tech. Cap Launcher Bottle Opener. Are you looking for some fun new games to play with your buddies at your next get together? The Cap Launcher Bottle Opener has everything you need to have a good time. The bottom of this device has a built-in bottle opener that'll let you snap the lids off your bottles with ease. Just place it around the bottle cap in question. Pull and cap will pop right off. But that's not all. You can load the cap into the launcher and shoot it across the room using the spring-loaded trigger mechanism. Imagicharm. This amazing device was designed with young women in mind, helping to teach young girls about the importance of tech in the modern world and giving them an easy way to understand coding and circuit boards. This charm allows you to create designs and upload them directly to the charm. They can then be worn as a necklace, placed onto a backpack or purse, or work around your waist. Designing the charm is easy, just open the app, draw a design, and upload it to the charm. However, things get more impressive when you open up the coding center, allowing you to implement some impressive features into your charm, such as animations or blinking lights. These charms are easily rechargeable and can connect to your phone wirelessly. They're perfect for teaching younger generations about technology and coding in a way that is both fun and productive. In just 15 seconds, you're going to discover how to generate human sounding voiceovers for your videos. With TPX-20 Titanium Tactical Pen. This pen is built with an all metal construction that will allow it to last for many years. The pen is also packed with features and the ink cartridge is completely replaceable. It is made with tungsten, so it will never corrode or scratch. It will remain rust-free for its entire life and can even be attached to a keyring. Best of all, if you grab the pen with your palm, it will give you self-defense features if you need to fend someone off in the event of an attack. This feature also doubles as a way to break the glass of a car window if you happen to get trapped inside or have no other way to get into the vehicle. The elegant appearance makes this pen perfect for daily use. And a built-in O-ring also makes it suitable for wet or dry conditions, keeping it safe from water intrusion into the shell. Rise Tech Tello. This incredible little drone is equipped with a high-quality image sensor that allows it to shoot amazing photos and videos. It will even help you take videos if you have never piloted a drone before, allowing you to easily share them on social media directly from your smartphone. The 5 megapixel camera gives you amazing resolution for photos as well as 720p videos at a maximum time of 13 minutes. The two antennas help the drone to remain safely connected to the remote no matter where you are, giving you complete control and excellent battery time. With all the tech that has been crammed into this tiny package, you'll be able to pull off some impressive tricks and stunts with little to no practice flying the front. Each drone will ship with four propellers, a set of propeller guards, a battery, and a USB charging cable. Norshire Mini Tire Inflator. This tiny tire inflator has everything you need to get back on the road or back into the game, no matter where you may be. At least 90% of this inflator is built with all metal components. He has a longer life than almost any other inflator on the market, 
and is built with an OLED display, so you can keep track of your inflation progress. You can even track pressure down to one-tenth of a PSI. The inflator is charged with a lithium-ion battery, making it easy to carry around wherever you go, and quick and simple to charge. This is the lightest and most versatile inflator on the market, and is perfect for inflating bike tires, balls, swimming accessories, toys, and many other items. The system can support pressures up to 175 PSI, meaning it is suitable for almost any purpose. It can fill eight bike tires when fully charged, and if it runs out of battery, you can quickly charge it using the 12 volt system in your car. Chefman Mini Fridge. The Chefman Mini Fridge is the perfect solution for your home, office, or bedroom. Its small size and portability make it super easy and convenient to carry wherever you go. It can easily fit into your travel bag, office, form, car, boat, tent, or so much more. An eraser door is built onto the front so you can write down any memos or keep track of what's inside. It measures about 5 inches by 7.5 inches and can fit about 6 cans of soda. A removable shelf is included so you can easily fit a small container of milk, yogurt, or other small items. With the simple slip of a switch, you can swap between cooling and warming features, so you'll always have access to what you need whenever you need it. You can keep your beverages cold or your lunch warm. The choice is yours. Microblade Pill Tie This tiny cutting tool has everything you need to make easy and precise cuts, no matter what you may be working on. This blade can fit in your pocket. In fact, it can fit almost anywhere. It is designed in the shape of a pill, so that, no matter where you go, you can take the Microblade Pill Tie with you. This blade is made with titanium, so you know it is built to last for many years. You can cut open boxes, open packaging, or cut paper with ease. You can even use it to strip wires if you're in a pinch. The blade will not wear down over time if you take care of it properly, and these tiny blades are designed to last a lifetime, being built solely out of aircraft quality titanium. Measuring just 10 millimeters wide, you could fit this tiny blade almost anywhere. SpyFinder Pro This is the best hidden camera detector on the market that will locate any hidden cameras that may be in your proximity. If you're worried about someone spying on you in your home, office, or Airbnb, this device will easily expose any cameras that may be lurking around. The LED technology will react when a camera is near, so that you can easily find any cameras that may be hiding out of view. Just point the light all around the room until you find what you're looking for. This will keep you safe in tanning rooms, hotels, bathrooms, or even your own apartment. You can never be too safe. But with this tiny device, you'll always know when you're being watched. It is small enough to fit in your pocket or purse, and has a small viewfinder that will let you easily notice any cameras in the room. It runs on two AAA batteries, so that you can easily power it up when the need arises. Race Mouse this is the world's most versatile travel mouse that is designed to work with almost any device you can imagine. This tiny device is not much larger than your average pack of dental floss and will fit anywhere. You can use it to scroll through your phone, your tablet, laptop, desktop computer, or even some televisions. Just pair the mouse to your favorite device and let the technology do the rest. This would be perfect for giving a presentation at work or for use as a trackpad if you are on the go. It is much easier to use than a standard optical mouse and is completely wireless. You can easily recharge it whenever you need to, using the included USB charger so you'll always have access to a mouse or trackpad wherever you are. Nimble. Opening packages can be pretty difficult. If you order items from Amazon, sometimes it may seem like you'll never get the package open fast enough. This tiny cutting device easily fits on the tip of your finger and will let you open packages in seconds. Just slide it on your fingertip and swipe it across the top of the package. The sharp corner will easily rip open the box without risking cutting yourself or anything around you. If you want to sell online. Okay, so what do you think about these gadgets? They are very interesting, but I am not sure, uh, teachers, that they are very necessary. <laughs> yeah, it's like when you go to the dollar city, right? That you, you yeah, buy a yeah. lot of things that you yeah, don't need. But, yes, <laughs> it's true, teacher, but yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a big business, the dollar city, because yeah. the, the each 
uh, purchase is thirty, forty, fifty dollar. Yeah. I mean, you go for one thing and you never go for one thing. I mean, you get two, three more things, right? So exactly <laughs> <laughs> something like that. I disguise it that sometimes you are navigating and you see something amazing. For me, it was very interesting the inflator. That is amazing because it's a little thing and you can plug it and you can inflate. I mean, if you have an emergency in your car, I believe that is a good Yes, it's true. Okay, good. Anybody else? Hey, teacher, yep. uh, for me, it is a, a good gadget, uh, the mouse and the camera, because um, you can use it uh, about it like a remote, remote control, mm -hmm. the mouse. Yeah. You, can, you can control any, any device from your, your sofa or another place. And, and the inflator. Yeah, the inflator was yes, amazing. Inflator too, because if you need someone, for example, you are playing soccer, for example, the ball it is need some air, you can use it, your, your, your bicycle, uh, tire, for example, need some, for example, it doesn't have enough air. It is, it is good gadget. Yeah, I really like that one actually, the inflator, because I mean, uh, imagine you are in your bike on the highway. I mean, yeah. if you have a problem or in your car, I mean, you have a problem yeah. with your car, then you just get that one and that's it. So it's very good, it's very useful. Yes. Good, perfect. Anybody else's? Okay, teacher. Uh, they probably are all very interesting. Uh, nice technology. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the technology now is everywhere, right? So you can, there are many things that in the past didn't technology exist. Yeah. yeah, that is true. So there are many, many things. You can buy almost anything, right? Yeah. Good. Anybody else's? I also like the mini fridge. Because yes, I like it. <laughs> that was very good because it's very small, small for a snack. I mean, if you are in your car and you want to drink a cold soda or juice, but very cold, that is good. And the other thing that I really like is that you can keep things cold or warm. Yes, that was nice. I was wondering. I was wondering uh, the you price. Know I don't know. Maybe there are are expensive i don't think it's that expensive maybe around i don't know a hundred dollars yeah but yeah interesting interesting uh, invents <laughs> yeah you know there are many things that nowadays we have and i believe that there are many other gadgets i mean i found a lot of videos about gadgets some of those have some useful and some of those have something like this but anyways there are many things that you can buy a lot of things i mean Nowadays, even if you want shirts with lights, uh, I don't know, whatever you want, you can buy anything. So the problem is that sometimes, as Selmy says, it's not necessary, right? I mean, sometimes we're looking to buy some things that are necessary for us. Uh, but sometimes we see things that are like that and you see, oh my goodness, that, those are good, right? And then a year later, you cannot live without the mini fridge. So. Things like that happens as well. It happens, teacher. Yeah. You might... I like this. I buy, I use the first week and then no more. Yeah, that also happens. Forget it. <laughs> <laughs> the enthusiasm end. That is true. That is true. Okay, so we're going to continue with the book. So unit two is shopping issues. It says, match the terms related to identity theft to the corresponding meanings. And we have six uh, things here. The first one says fraud and then identity theft, two-factor authentication, credit report, PIN, and fraud alert. So let's see. Uh, Osmin, could you please read the first one here where it says it is an extra layer. Okay, teacher. Number one, fraud. It is an extra layer of security 
requiring. Requiring. Uh, requiring, okay? Not only a password and use a, a use name, but a, also a piece of piece. information. Piece, okay? Also a piece of information in the user such is a physical token. Very good. So it says that it is an extra layer of security. Maybe the first word here is layer. What is a layer? Layer. Anybody knows? Anybody? No. I know how I idea. Okay, a layer is like a level, right? So a different level, mm -hmm. there are many levels. So something Maximum. like that. Yeah. No, it is an extra layer of security requiring not only a password uh, and a username, but also a piece of information on the users such as a physical token. Do you know what is like a token? It's a password. It's like a, another kind of password, right? A, a configuration. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's a piece of like a key. For example, we are Google. Uh, in their computers, uh, we have a password and a username. And we, in the USB uh, port, we enter a little key. And you have to put your finger. And when it recognizes you, then you can use the computer. So sometimes it's something like that, right? So the question is says. It is an extra layer of security requiring not only a password and username, but also a piece of information on the user, such as a physical token. Which one is the answer for this? Pin. I'm sorry? P-A-N? No, ping. Ping. What do you think, everybody? Ping? Is this it's ping? A, it's a number three because it's mentioned an extra layer. Okay. And right. the number three, the two-factor authentication. That is it. Yes, Actually, I agree. Very good. Actually, it's number three. Two-factor authentication, and that is very common nowadays. I mean, you know, the hackers are working very hard. So nowadays, companies, they are investing money in extra layer of security, something like that. Even in the personal emails, I mean, if you have your Gmail account, for example, you can set the two steps, uh, verification, authentication. Yeah, right? I, I have this. When I get in Gmail, in my phone, my phone asks me, are you trying to enter to your mail? And I get, and if I say yes, uh, he, he require, require mm -hmm. this, the, yeah, the Gmail require my my I, my fingerprint to my phone, and right. I get into the, the Gmail. I yeah, like that. I like that. That. Oh my god! That way. Yeah, in that way you are sure that nobody else is going to see your information, right? Maybe one of the things that we need to be careful about that in the email is that. Um, well, here in El Salvador is very nice because you can continue using your same phone number even if you change company. But in the US, there is a big problem where they change phone numbers and they want to enter into the email and they can't because it's asking you to go to the phone number, to the number itself and say, yes, if you don't have that phone number, goodbye. So another thing that you can do uh, is if you are going to change the phone number is before you change everything, you or remove the two steps verification or change the number, right? This is my new number. So we're going to change that update, but sometimes we forget about them. Okay, the uh, number two, a report. This is for Wilfredo. Report. Mm -hmm. um, what number teacher? So it's going to be here where it says a report filled by a financial. Um, okay, okay, okay. Let me see. A report filled by, by a financial institution to signal that someone signal. may... Signal. Uh -huh. Signal that someone may have stolen your identity. Very good. 
So it's a report field. A field, you remember the field is when you complete a form, right? There is a blank form that you need to enter your name and your last name, your phone number, anything like that. Uh, so it's a report filled by a financial institution to sign out. So to, to report, to you are uh, you are telling, letting them know that something happened. In this case, you are signing out that someone may have, maybe, but you have seen some things that you believe something is not correct. So may have stolen your identity. So what is going to be that one? I may be teacher number four, great report. Great report. Everybody agrees on this one? For me, yeah. uh -huh. fraud alert. Fraud alert. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, it's going to be number four, credit report, because it's a report that uh, something has happened. Uh, fraud alert. It might be, actually, to be honest. Yeah, but I'm more in the number four, but it could be a fraud alert. Okay, the next one says a criminal deception. So this is going to be for Ophelia. Hello, teacher. Yeah, could you please read what it says, criminal deception intended? Okay, teacher. I please a desc description intent it to result in infancy or personal again. Okay, so it's criminal deception intended. Mm -hmm to result in financial or personal gain. So whenever you see criminal, you know what is that? Deception is that they trying to, to get your information, to get something from you, right? Intended because they have the intention. So to result in financial or personal gain. What is that one? Identity, I think, yeah. Okay, it might be fraud or identity theft. Probably it's fraud. Yeah, because he's for financial or personal gain. So that is a fraud, definitely. They're trying to get your information so they get your money or your information to purchase things. Okay, the other one says an identifying. That is for Lourdes. Okay, an identif identifying number allocated to an individual by a bank or other organization in use for validating electronic transaction. Very good. So an identifying number allocated to an individual. Allocated means that it's uh, linked uh, to a person. It's a, a unique number for a person. Uh, to an individual by a bank or other organization and used for validating electronic transactions. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what is going Ping. to be that one? Ping, yeah. That is the PIN number. Very good. The next one says the fraudulent. That is going to be for Pamela. Hello, Pamela. Uh, the fraudulent. Yep. The fraudulent act is Accusation and acquisition. Use, acquisition and use of a person private mm. identifying information for financial gain. Mm, okay, so this is the fraudulent acquisition and use of a person's private identifying information for financial gain. I guess the only word here is acquisition. Acquisition is when you get something, right? Mm -hmm. So what will be the answer for this one? No more mistake. Number two. Yes. Number two, good. Identity yeah. theft. Definitely, that is identity theft. Very good. And the last one is going to be for floor. Hello, floor. Hello. Okay. 
it, it is a statement that has information about credit activity and current credit situation. Very good. That means that Lourdes was right. This is number four. This is credit report. Very good, Lourdes. So it says it is a statement that has information about credit activity and current credit situation. I believe there, there are no words, new words here, new vocabulary. Okay, very good. So let's move on. Uh, we're not gonna check into this. Okay, so now we're gonna continue with this. These are, uh, it's a little reading. Well, it's a little bit more than a little reading, but it's going to be that. What are the top, uh, top shopping sites online? We're gonna go directly to the shopping. Of course, the first one, the number one is Amazon. We're gonna read, let's see how it goes. Um, we're gonna start with, let me see. Who's gonna start? Ada Patricia. Amazon. Everybody has heard um, of um, Amazon. So has heard. If, excuse me? Has heard. Has heard of um, Amazon such is the reputation of the whole online retailer. Founded in the United States by Jeff Bezos in 1994 1994 Amazon, Amazon started of selling books before Diversifying its inventory to include just about everything today. This day, it, uh, it is hands down the largest online shop for pretty much all, all of your needs. Um, I'm, Amazon? Yeah, Amazon serves a vast number of countries around the world offering no, numerous product categories ranging, ranging. from electron ranging from electronics to ebook and kitchen appliances to furniture. furniture. Very good. That is it. So that is Amazon. Of course, uh, we know Amazon, right? Everybody hears about that one. There are many things actually, and now you can watch TV on that one. You can see on Amazon Prime video, uh, a lot of movies, TV shows and things like that. Uh, heard, what is heard? The pass of here. The pass of here. When right. we, when we listen. Yeah, it's similar to this. Good. Yeah. Do you remember what is huge? Huge, the biggest. Something big. Something very, very big. Very good. Uh, let's see any other word. At uh, this one, the pronunciation is diversifying. Uh, let's see. Many options. Many options. Very good. Yeah, now this Amazon is a monster. Um, there are no other words, I guess. Buying online can be a hassle sometimes, but Amazon is one of the best and at streaming the process for the customer. So pros and cons, that is going to be for Guadalupe. Pros. Okay. Teacher? Yes, that's the one, yeah. Premium membership service prime offer next next day delivery and discount. Regular uh, sideway. Sideway, yeah. Sideway sales. Uh, re reliable, cons reliable. Cons reliable consumer support. Okay. Cons uh -huh. Some find the mobile version on, of the website is, isn't user-friendly. Okay, so these are pros and cons about every website that we're gonna check today. Uh, premium membership is about next day delivery. 
maybe for us in El Salvador it's not that good because we cannot receive the next day. Real side wide sales means that uh, it's going to have a lot of things uh, there in the website and we can research in an easy way. Reliable customer support. This is a very nice word, reliable. What is reliable? Like um, <clears throat> security? Security, yeah. Something that you can trust. So you, you trust in the support. So the support team is going to be there for you. Cons is about only about the the website. The mobile website is not that good. I mean, it's it's better if you go to the computer. Okay, eBay. eBay is going to be for. Let me just check here. I'm gonna put. Okay, uh, eBay is going to be for Carla. eBay. Uh, while Amazon dominate, dominate the online retailer space, it doesn't allow users to build a product unlike eBay. eBay is essentially an online option site which lets you place bid on items you like to buy. Buying through eBay can be gratified. Gratifying. Gratifying process, making the best online shopping experience in some people's eyes. You will often have to keep an eyes of the building throughout to ensure you're in successful at the end, which can be quite a thrill. The site offer a wide range of products that are put off, put off for sale by individual sellers. So you'll find all kinds of brand new iron mixer in with second hand possession. Very good. So eBay is something that we already know as well. So that is, uh, we don't have to think about that one, of course. We're going to check some vocabulary. Let's see. Uh, do you remember what is an auction? Auction. Auction. When you offer money for Very something. Good. Yeah, it's that kind of activity when somebody is selling something and everybody's like two dollars, three dollars, five dollars, a thousand dollars, a million dollars, something like that. And actually, the name of that one is bid, right? To bid is like to offer money. Hey, I want to buy that one for this money. Okay, let's see. Gratifying. Uh, that is the pronunciation of this word, gratifying. Uh, let's see. What else? A thrill. What is a thrill? Thrill is something. Oh my God. In that way, maybe it's something. Oh my God. It's extremely. Emotion, emotion, I don't know. Mm. Yeah, very good. It's very, yeah. very emotional. Yeah, that's it. Excited. Excited, yeah. Sometimes yeah. it's like, uh, yeah, something like that. Good. Yeah, in, good. That, in that way, it's exciting, but mm -hmm. in the sound thriller, it's very scary. <laughs> yeah, it's like you, you are there waiting and anxious, right? Something like that. Yeah. Good. Uh, wide range. That is very easy. What is a wide range? A wide range is a lot of uh, options. Uh, it's like a lot of things. So that is a wide range. Good, pros and cons. That is going to be for, let's see, Wendy. Hello, Wendy. Not Wendy. Sandra Gladys. Hi. 
Uh, yes, could you please read pros and cons? Pros? Pros and cons, both, please. Okay. You can find our collect collectibles and other unique products. Unique products. Unique products. Uh, Biting is enjoyable and in some, some case, cases, let's buy cases. Let's buy islands for less money than you think they work. Cons. It can be difficult to tell the condition on the product and all you have how to go on on a seller's work. Good. So definitely those are pros and cons. So you can find rare collectibles and other unique products. They in eBay, I mean, if you are looking for a sword, actually I bought a sword, you know, a very nice sword, helmets, things that are very rare, coins. You can buy those there, unique. Um, also, bidding is enjoyable. I mean, it's good that you are, I mean, you see something that maybe is a thousand dollars for $25 or 26 and 27 and bidding is something that is kind of nice. Um, of course, uh, maybe the most difficult is the last one, the cons, because you believe that you are going to get something very nice, but sometimes you receive things that are not good, not good at all. So that is definitely not good. Okay, the next one is Walmart. Walmart is going to be for Walter. Okay, Walmart is the grocery store that offers so much more than just food uh, and drink. And with you came of Why? school, well, Why you, you came? came of when you came of school, stop put on your groceries from the popular and website. You can also feed and have a supplement, find her supplement. Electronics is a beautiful product on the website for everyday. Items, items, and and items, and anything, and also you mean new you around the house, and Walmart, and as you cover it, the web the website, also as a premium and Mary sheet, Kellen, Walmart, and offering. No other uh, minimum shipping and other perks. Okay, so that is it. It says, uh, well, Walmart, we know Walmart because we have Walmart here as well. And um, maybe here is more, much more popular to go to the supermarket and do uh, buy the things. But, uh, well, in the US, it's very popular the website, right? You just order the things and that's it. Let's check some words. Um, stuck up. So stuck up is like you can make your own inventory, get everything that you need from the groceries. Let's see what else. Beauty, everyday items, something else. Let's see. I don't think there is any other. Oh, perks. What is perks? Anybody knows what perks is? Opportunities. Opportunities, benefits. Okay. Perfect. So the pros and cons is going to be for, let's see here. Uh, it's going to be for Gloria. Pros and cons. Okay. Pros. There is free shipping if you spend more that um, $35. You can turn items free. Items. Uh, items. 
or change. Cons, the quality of clothing and other items you can buy many, no, may vary. Very, okay. very, that is good. Okay, mm -hmm. yes, those are the pros and the cons. So, so free shipping here in El Salvador, you have free shipping if you want, or you can pick uh, things there in the supermarket. You can return items for free. So you can go and say, I don't want this, or it's not working properly. That's it, right? The, the quality of clothing and other items you can buy may vary. So there are different qualities in Walmart. So you need to be careful about those things. The next one is Etsy. Etsy is going to be for Sandra Romero. Etsy. Etsy is a haven for creatives who want to monetize their hand creative goods. And it's an excellent website to visit if you want an artisan made product. For wedding rings to handmade soups, soups, Etsy has it all. The best part about Etsy is knowing that each product is unique and has been lovingly crafted for your enjoyment. There's also the satisfaction of knowing you are supporting the creatives behind the artisanal work. Very good. Thank you. So Etsy is more for uh, handicraft things. You can order things or you can, uh, yeah, buy a lot of things here. There are not many words here, I guess. Uh, unique, lovely craft. I don't think so. Behind, no. Pros and cons. This is going to be for Nelson. Uh, I don't know if it's possible, Nelson. I guess it's not. Okay. Uh, Zulma, Rosaura. Okay, for us, you can find Bespoke, Jewelry, and other unique handcraft items that you support creators and reward artisan work. Mm -hmm. Cons, there are several fees to consider when selling product on Etsy. Very good. So uh, the first word there is uh, Bespoke. Do you know what is Bespoke? I was looking and means made for a particular custom. So that is something unique. It's like personalized. Personalized, yeah, it's customized. Mm -hmm. It's just for you. Mm -hmm. So that is very good, right? Uh, so, and of course, unique handicraft items. Uh, let's see, support creators, reward. What is a reward? Reward, oh my God, how can I explain reward? <laughs> it's, oh my God. Um, I know the word, but I can't explain it in, in English. Uh, yeah, give it a shot in your own words, don't worry. Okay, so reward is something in my, like- In my own words. Um, of course. If, if my dog is lost, I offer a reward, a reward to oh. find the, to the person to find to find him. <laughs> In that case, I, I understand that he reward you pay more for for the artisanal work. Yeah. Um, not you, pay. No, but... no, no, no. In that case. No. Uh -huh. In this case, it's like if you really uh, like you, re you recognize you recognize you recognize. Okay. Yeah, in that case, you recognize the person to make a handcraft on right. artisanal works. That is it. Nice. Yeah, but... you recognize it because it's not easy. All oh, the that's... time I say it, oh, that's good. I love it. I like it. And it doesn't matter the, the price because it had a lot of work. Definitely. Very good. Perfect. That is it. So in the cons, uh, fees, no, I don't think there is any other. The other one is wish. Wish is going to be for, let's see, um, Anna Michelle, I don't know if it's possible. Mm 
Not possible. Okay, Jose Ernesto. Neither. Susana. Okay. Wish. Which may be the first online shopping website on this list you are unfamiliar with, but many recognize it as the cheapest online retailer around. If you're looking for bargains, bargains? Bargains, yeah. Bargains and cheap products, then which is hands down your best bet. Online shopping can be expensive, especially when you factor in shipping costs, but which provide a more affordable alternative so you can save money when you shop online. Very good, perfect. So it, it looks like Wish is a nice thing, right? I mean, it's for cheap products, very nice products and, and not expensive. So it sounds like good. I need to check into that one and see if they ship to El Salvador. So I don't know. So let's check some vocabulary. Unfamiliar, what is unfamiliar? Anybody? All family? No. It's no. not, um, uh, maybe it's not custom. Okay. Not custom, it's not, it's not very popular. So you don't common. know that one. Oh, it's not common. Not common, uh-huh. That is it, I'm familiar. Uh, and it's cheapest retailer. Bargain, what is a bargain? When you ask for less price. Very good. So the action of bargain is like that. Like when you go to the market, right? And somebody says $5 and you say $3. And she says four, nah, three, five. 50 cents. <laughs> <laughs> In this case, a bargain as a noun is like something that is cheap. Something nice that is cheap, something that is like a hundred dollars and you find in, in $75. So say, oh, this is a bargain. So this is something very nice. Teacher Pat is an art because requires a specific skill to, to get benefits. It's, it's not for the old people. <laughs> Do you yeah. believe it's not? Okay. <laughs> yeah, it might be, it might be. I mean, everybody is, has different skills, right? So, okay, and it says, uh, which is hands down your best. So that, that means that is the, the best option, is the best option for you. Uh, let's see here. Affordable, do you remember what is affordable? affordable cheaper cheap something that you can pay for right something that is is nice i can pay for that thing very good pros and cons let's see uh the pros and cons are going to be for a rose okay pros the price the price are very low and there are regular deals and heavy discounts. You can choose to receive a notification whenever the product you're looking at goes on sale. Cons, the delivery service isn't, isn't quite as reliable as other online retailers. You deal with third party merchants, so experience with purchase may vary. May vary. Be very okay yeah. so that is it so the prices are very low of course that is the biggest good thing right the biggest benefit and there are regular deals and heavy discounts so you can really find good pricing here you can choose to receive a notification whenever the product you're looking at goes on sale so notifications are always good and the delivery service is not that reliable mm -hmm. that is not good right of course there must be something here because it's cheap. And you deal with third party merchants, so the experience with purchases may vary. So you cannot say in general that which is good or bad, depending on the person you are buying from. Best Buy is very popular, Best Buy. That is going to be for Osmin. 
Okay, teacher. Best Buy is an electronic retailer with a website full or antiques and deals. If you if you're looking for a new phone, laptop, or speaker system, a bit buy is a solid option as it has a wide selection of products, regular deals, and offer a curbside pickup with within and our, our free next day delivery on certain items. Very good, perfect. Have you ever heard about Best Buy? Best Buy is very popular. I know that here we don't have that one, but it's a very popular thing. Have you ever heard about Best Buy? Even in the movies that appears. I never heard that. Okay, that is very popular. Okay, so words here. So this is electronics retail, just for electronic things, computers, uh, TVs, uh, things like that, right? Uh, well, actually, this has new phone, laptop, speaker system. So that is something very, very popular. Uh, let's see, curbside. What is uh, curbside, do you know? The curbside is... Uh, no. When we walk, <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's the street. Good. It's the street, and there is a curve. The curve side. <laughs> very good. Yeah, there is another word for that one. Very yeah. nice. Uh, there are no other and pros and cons. This is going to be for Anna Selmi. Pros, uh, pros, teacher. Pros and cons, both. Okay, thank you. Pros. Option to pick up the product at the store of free delivery when you spend over $35. Wise selection of electronic and digital goods, such as downloads and e-gift cards. Cons, there are no free returns. Customer service online available via? Via. Via, via phone call. Yeah. Very good. So yes, option to pick up the product at the store for free or delivery when you spend over 35 is a good thing. Uh, a lot of electronic and DL goods. And also you can have gift cards. So gift cards are very popular in the US. I don't know why. Yeah. And uh, there are no free returns. That is no good. No. And the customer service is only via phone. So you can chat, you can email, you can do anything like that. So it's going to be not that, that good. Or oh, Target is also very popular. This is another one that is very popular in the US. And this one is going to be for, let's see, Carla Vasquez. Target. Target is another life break and moral store that offer a wide selection of products like Walmart. If you are scanning the internet for everyday essential, including everything from clothing to groceries, then Target is an excellent option. You can also find a range of home, homeware, homeware mm -hmm. and garden furniture on the website, so you will be a spoiled for choice. Good, perfect. So Target definitely is very, very popular. Um, the, do you remember what is a brick and mortar? That's physical stores. Physical store, very good. Something that you have to go to. Uh, let's see, include, well, uh, groceries, target option. Homeware, this is things for the home, like many things, anything from the home. Garden furniture, spoiled, so is uh, kind of difficult to choice, to, to look for something. It's difficult because there are many things. That's why it is not, it's difficult. So the spoil is something good. So there are too many good things that I don't know what to choose. That will be it. Okay, and we have pros and cons. Uh, 
uh, this one is going to be for Sulma. In pros and cons. Yeah, please. Fishy pro, pros, fish shipping when you spend 35 or more dollars, free returns, cons, at times the website can cancel orders places due to stock shortage. Okay, very good. So free shipping, that's always good. Free returns is always good. The cons is not good. I mean, imagine that you are happy that you have a nice TV for a few dollars and they cancel the order because they have a stock shortage. So there is no more items available. So that is definitely not good at all. Home Depot, that, oh, that is also very, very uh, popular. I don't know if there was something like that before here. Uh, it's Office Depot, but no Home Depot, right? No, Home Depot, no. Okay, so this is going to be for Wilfredo. Not possible. Ada, Patricia. Home Depot? Home Depot is the place to go if you need anything to keep out your house. If you're decorating a new place or doing or doing up your garden, Home Depot has everything you could need to make house be like at a home. There are a several categories of products, including large indoor furniture and kitchenware. Kitchenware, very good. So yeah, Home Depot is also very popular, not much as Target and uh, Best Buy, but it's, it's also very popular. Um, there are no words here, I guess, that we can check. Several, what is several? A lot of, many. Very good, a lot of, nice. And the indoor, you know what is indoor, furniture, and kitchen where it's like things for the kitchen. Pros and cons, that is going to be for Pamela. Pros. Okay. Uh, free shipping if you spend over 45. Okay. Um, free returns. Oh, what is, sorry, this is the correct that I need to read. Yeah, that, that's the one, uh, that pros and cons. Ah, and cons, cons. Sometimes it can be difficult to get hold of a customer support person. There are no financial financing options. Okay, so yeah, free shipping is always good and free returns. Uh, well, if you don't have support for for people in the U.S. is that that is not good at all. They always want somebody to help. So here in El Salvador, I guess we are like, I'm going to go to the store and fight, right? There are no financing options. So yeah, if you want to buy a TV, you have to have the whole money. So that I guess is not that bad. Uh, Sears, well, we have Sears here, right? So Wendy. Hello, teacher. Could you please read about Sears? Okay. Um, Sears is an online retailer that offers a comprehensive, comprehensive selection uh -huh. of product spanning uh, category, categories, such as, however, home, homeware, electronic, and fitness. This is an online shopping website that could be compared to Amazon in terms of the variety of its product cat catalog. Catalog, okay. Gross. So, <clears throat> no, that's that's for other person. That's no. Thank you. Teacher, what yep. is um, com comprehensive? Comprehensive. Comprehensive yeah. is something that, I mean, is very 
it's for everybody. So they understand you, so they can offer you ah. things. That, mm -hmm. uh -huh. that is it. Okay. Very good. Uh, spanning, anybody knows what is spanning? No teacher. Mm, okay. Span. Spanning. Nobody. So spanning is like, how can I say that? From side to side, a lot of products, a lot of categories. So it's it's huge. Here maybe it's not that that big, but it's the it's department. It's a department. It's yeah, it, something like that. So it's going to be very huge. A lot of categories in all the departments. Very nice. Mm -hmm. And by variety, no, they didn't know that. And it says pros. So that is going to be the pros and cons for floor. Hello, Floor. Pros. Pros and cons, please. Pros, free shipping on orders over uh, 59. 59. Cons, you can only send a single order to an address at a time. There is no phone number to call for returns. Okay, so free shipping is always good. And uh, well, the, the other one is not that good. You can only send a single order to one address at a time. Mm, that is not good at all. I don't know why they do that one. The last one is calls, but we're not gonna read about that one because we ran out of time. Okay, so friends, is there any question about the class for today? Everybody finish the midterm test, right? Because tomorrow I'm going to send the grades to Elizabeth. I hope you have. Okay. So we're going to finish with uh, the attendance, of course. The 101 for today is for Sandra Gladys Mendez Ramirez. Okay. Ada Patricia Linares Galdamez. Present. Good. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Ana Selmi Chévez. Present teacher. Good. Carmen Yasmin López Martinez. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Good. Guadalupe del Carmen López Flores. Present teacher. Good. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. Present. Good. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here teacher. Good. Osmin Baire Solorzano. Present teacher. Good. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Good night, present. Good night. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present. Sandra Carolina Romero Ramirez. Present teacher. Good. Sandra Gladys Mendez Ramirez. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraita. Present. Good. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Good. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present teacher. Good. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Good. Zulma Rosaura López García. Present. Good. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Flor de María Carballo Ugarte. Present. Good night. Good night. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Ana Michelle Guevara Sánchez. Present. Good. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltran. Okay, my friends, it was a pleasure to be with you tonight. I hope you have a very good night and rest very well. See you tomorrow and dream in English. Bye-bye. Okay, bye. See you tomorrow. Bye.
Bye, teacher. Tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye bye. Good night, buddy. See good you night. tomorrow. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Okay, Nelson, I got you. Hello, Jasmine. Hello. Hello.